Hi, this is Richard Byrne for Free Technology for Teachers. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can add attachments to events in your Google Calendar. Uh, this is a question that someone emailed me earlier this week after reading my post about adding widgets to your classroom blog. I really think adding a Google Calendar to a classroom blog is a really useful uh, thing for your students and their parents to be able to access. So we're going to go here to Friday, August 9th, and we're going to add an event for my 8.30, 7.30 class. And we'll say this is our uh, current events assignment. And you'll notice I have a choice of calendars. If you've made multiple calendars in your Google Calendar account, you want to make sure that you're selecting the right calendar. The assignment calendar is the one that I'm going to have public on the web. So my assignment calendar. And now let's go ahead and before I hit create event, I'm going to edit the event. And we'll say this is our current events assignment number one for my block one class. And I'll put in a short description. Uh, please read the following before class meets. And now I'm going to click the add attachment icon here. And you'll notice automatically it's going to pull up the option to attach from Google Drive. Now I can simply search through here if I have a lot of documents I can use a search function but I only have a couple of documents in this particular account and so I can just highlight and select it. Alternatively, if I'm using Google Documents, I may make this document over here public and I'll say anyone with the link can view it and I'll copy that link and put it into the description in my calendar itself. So there's two ways that I can add attachments Again, if I want to go to Add Attachment this way, if I'm not a Google Drive user, I can go ahead and upload something from my computer. Let's say I want to uh, add this picture of a big truck. I can add that and upload it. And now that big truck picture is attached to the calendar itself. So let's go ahead and let's save this event. And as we can see, all my information has been saved and we're done. So if someone is now viewing this calendar live on the web and they see that event, they'll be able to open that attachment and also open the link to the current events assignment. So give it a try. I think your students and your parents and their parents will really benefit from using Google Calendar with attachments.